Fish is a source of protein that has a delicious taste when processed into food. Fish are famous for living in water, and will soon die while on land. But in various parts of the world, it turns out that there are fish that have the ability to live on land without water. Here are five fish that can live without water. Climbing Perch The climbing perch is a fresh and brackish water fish that eats everything. As a child these fish eat plankton, moss, water hyacinth and weeds. This fish is famous for its ability to live out of water for a long time. In addition, this fish also has the ability to walk on land using its gill covers. When the water recedes or when conditions are bad, this fish climbs onto land and then stretches its hard and sharp gill covers to walk. This fish lives in swamp areas, small rivers, rice fields, ditches and ponds with open water channels. Under normal circumstances, this fish breathes underwater using gills. But when outside the water, these fish have the ability to take in air from outside. This ability is obtained thanks to the labyrinth organ in its head, which allows it to survive on land for quite a long time. Mudskipper When the water recedes, the mud life in the mangrove forest will reveal its form to us. Many small animals move to the surface in search of food. Mudskipper is no exception. This fish can walk through the mud using its fins and tail. Even though they belong to a type of fish, in fact, the mudskipper prefers to live on land rather than swimming in the water. That's because he's amphibious and better suited to living out of water for long periods of time. This fish has the ability to hold water in the enlarged gill chambers, and the ability that fish don't generally have to breathe through their skin. This makes the fish spend 90% of their lives on land. The mudskipper goes into the water only to moisten its fins and gills. As we know, life in tidal areas makes the conditions they live in always changing, the only constant is change. These extreme conditions make the mudskipper a fish that must be able to adapt well in tidal areas. Snakeheads Snakeheads are an invasive type of fish, and they can eat any small animal they come across. The snakehead first appeared in America in 2002 and shocked the Minister of the Interior due to the dangers it posed. This fish can even walk for at least three days on land to move from one pond to another. These fish will move from one pond to another if conditions are bad, so they can find a better place to live. They also reproduce quickly and have sharp teeth. Another ability of these fish is that they are able to hibernate when the water conditions dry up. When the water recedes, they will sink into the mud to keep their gills moist. As long as its gills remain moist, this fish will hibernate for up to six months. National Geographic dubbed this fish as Fishzilla because of their terrible abilities. Meanwhile, several horror films, such as Frankenfish or Snakehead Terror, were inspired by this fish. From these scary facts, in fact in the last two decades, the horror of snakehead fish has not happened. And unlike in the movies, these fish don't chase humans. Even when they walked on land, their movements tended to be as inefficient as those of a snake. Even so, snakeheads are able to live in poor water conditions, including very low oxygen. The Walking Catfish 
The walking catfish originate from Southeast Asia including Bangladesh, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Singapore, Sri Lanka, Laos and Thailand. The scientific name of the walking catfish is Clarias batrachis. This species also spread quite rapidly in America. This fish lives in fresh water, generally in irrigation canals, lakes, rice fields and wetlands. Like the snakehead, this fish will burrow into the mud under adverse conditions, such as drought or cold weather. If conditions do not allow, these fish are also able to travel overland to move to better waters. This fish walks using its fins and occasionally breathes air. The walking catfish is the first fish to be confirmed to be able to smell through the air. This fish can survive several days on land, as long as its skin is not scaly remains wet. Many say that the walking catfish is classified as an invasive fish, but the truth needs to be checked further. African lungfish African lungfish are very interesting. This fish has two lungs and can breathe air. Besides having lungs, this fish also has gills which are used to breathe when water is abundant. This fish lives in flute blends where the water often dries up. When the rainy season comes and the water floods the land, these fish suddenly appear to fill the water and breed. But as the water dries up, the fish slowly sink 1 to 9 inches deep into the mud and make a light bulb-shaped hole. Then this fish rests there with its nose pointing up. It was then, its metabolism started to slow down, and then went into hibernation even for up to four years, until the next rain came. When the plains are completely dry, these fish can be found in the soil which has moist conditions. Scientists believe that lungfish are related animals that were able to evolve and come from water to land. Lungfish are prehistoric animals that have survived and not changed for at least 400 million years, so they are sometimes called living fossils. So guys, those are five fish that can live without water, according to Kanima. Please write your comments below and like the video if you like it or dislike it if you don't like it. Thanks for watching and see you in another video.